to Liepad's notes preview. Greetings to all those playing Battlegrounds. The M249 LMG has been excluded from the airdrops and has been added to the fill drop instead. Apart from the Karakin map, the M249 LMG can be found in all the remaining classic maps. Next we'll get to see a new weapon that is the MG3. The new weapon takes the place of the M249 in the supply crate. Another thing to note is that it will be available only in supply crate. The MG3 is also light machine gun. One key feature is its continuous firepower capability. It uses the 7.62 mo and magazine that can hold up to 75 bullets with each reload. The firepower is fast and continuous, however the reload time takes a little longer. The MG3 can take up to a 6x scope. Also note that no other attachments can be used. And there'll be no single shot mode for this weapon. You can choose between the 660 or 990 RPM modes for the MG3. It also has a bipod that will automatically deploy when you lay prone. One cool tip to improve stability is to lie down. You can throw healing consumables. The healing consumables have been added to the trajectory slot. To throw them, you can select one healing consumable and tap the throw button. Players need to note that when thrown wrongly, it could bounce away. So please pay attention while using this feature. It's possible to ask team members far away to throw you the healing consumable. The ranking season has been updated and will be different this season. There is a new tier that's been added in between the Ace and the Conqueror tier. Also, the tier icons level up effects will be updated. The challenge point system has been added to the ranking season. You can earn challenge point. This is possible if you complete a full game without neglecting teammates, leaving the game midway or attacking your own teammates. If in case you achieve challenge point above a certain level, you can reduce the deducted ranking points even if you are eliminated from the battle early. Seasonal series rewards are given to users who have achieved higher tier in that particular season. Compared to the one season reward, there are better items included. For a certain period, the mission ignition mode will be added to the Irangal map. You can enter the mode through the new entrance. This theme mode includes six high-tech regions of Irangal, namely the Transit Center, Georgia Pole, Tech Center, Sosnovka Security Center, Logistic Agency, and Energy Center. You'll be able to see a lot of interesting updates in this mode. If you're curious, let us take a peek at the updates. In the mission ignition mode, the names of the new gen cities and existing cities are in 3D. This can be viewed while parachuting to the ground. You can also automatically drop to the area pinned in the map. It is a high-tech levitational line for trans-island travel across the map. The hyperlines run on preset routes at specific times. Go board the train from the station marked in the minimap. This way you can quickly navigate to the next station. The semi-trucks are autonomous driving vehicles that run on set routes and come with supplies. If you want to get a good loot, then attack these trucks. Those who are successful in destroying them will be rewarded with supply boxes. Whatever direction you look at it from, it looks like the future. The G38 Gravity Free Motorcycle hovers about the ground. There is a sitting capacity for two people. Since it runs both on land and water, you are able to explore the map in its full potential. The air conveyor acts as a transportation tool that catapults the player into the air. It can sit up to two players at a given time. The ASM Abakan is the latest assault rifle that's been added to the mission ignition mode. It uses the 5.56mm ammunition that fires up to 30 bullets with one reload. It supports fully automatic firing mode, burst mode, and the semi-automatic mode. Also, scopes, canted sights, various guns attachments, and magazines can be used as attachments. Use the ASM Abakan and let us know the review in the comments. If you follow the puppy icon in the minimap, you will be able to discover this special patrol dog. It's easy to spot items because the patrol dog marks the location of the rare and high-end items. With the tactical marking device, you'll automatically be able to check the direction of teammates' firings, the location of the enemy, and the street information, all of which is displayed in the minimap. It sets an alert if a grenade is detected nearby. 
In the high-tech city, you can get hold of the riot shield that cannot be penetrated by bullets. The shield is big and sturdy. Don't forget to use it in an emergency. Once you set up the shield, it's fixed and you won't be able to move it elsewhere. So you need to find the perfect location you'd want your shield at and tap on the button to set it up at that location. To make the play more personalized, we have added some more setting options. You can set the sensitivity level for each gun individually. You can also copy and modify the sensitivity of guns and store your preferred settings in cloud. On some low specification devices, a graphic option lower than smooth is added. We have added the 90fps option to some new devices. You can adjust the gyroscope sensitivity when the gyroscope is activated. The sensitivity of the tilt camera controls while the firing can be adjusted too. We've added an additional setting when it's activated, the up and down effect of the gyroscope will be reversed. Facing the issue of picking up the scope automatically even when you have discarded it because you don't need it? Don't worry. With this new update, you can fix this issue. Simply adjust the setting to Do not auto pick up dropped scopes. Once you check this option in the settings, you won't be picking up the scope you discarded. One more thing. The advanced pickup option allows you to pick up and set your favorite attachments for weapons. Once the attachment is picked up, it automatically replaces previous attachments with the ones marked as favorite. You can also adjust the settings to third person camera viewer option. It is set to 80 by default and can be increased up to 90. The balance of faster launches at different FPS has been improved to ensure no differences in the burst speed. We calculate the logic of sitting as well as improve sitting reaction time. You can also try various other movements. Auto pickup is paused while using the healing consumables. If the current weapon runs out of ammunition while in use, it is automatically replaced by the next available weapon. Flare guns which have no ammunition will not be automatically picked up. There is now different colors to showcase the remaining mag. If it's 25% or below, it turns yellow, and it turns red if the level drops below 10%. You are now able to view the status of engagement for your teammates. When they are being shot, you can view it in their personal status bar. Glass windows have been added to certain buildings in Erangel and Miramar. The update cycle for the Royal Pass has been changed from 2 months to 1 month. With the addition of the new PK, clans with similar activity points can now compete with each other. The gallery function has now been turned off. Also, you can now add a bronze statue after your win. An NPC mini TV ray has been added. Ray notifies you of message alerts and announcements in the lobby and helps you easily navigate to it. It's more like an added bonus in the form of a cute emoticon that helps you navigate your way through the lobby. It appears when you start the game and informs you about the various updates. It can also play pranks on you and is known to have a good sense of humor. I hope you all get to have a lot of fun with Ray. This is the end of today's update preview. It's now time for chicken dinner.